Hey everyone, so this question asks, can a multiple of 10 be easily identified from its binary representation? So let me rephrase this question. If I have a multiple of 10, say 10, or 20, or 30, or maybe 40, can we identify this these numbers easily in binary representation? Now it's really easy to identify multiples of 10 in base 10, because the very furthest right digit is just a zero. That's a zero, that's a zero, that's a zero, that's a zero. The furthest right digit is a zero, so you have a multiple of 10. So it's pretty easy to identify a multiple of 10 in base 10, but is it easy to identify a multiple of 10 in base two? Well, to answer this question, let's look at these numbers in base two and see if we can find a pattern, just like we can find a pattern in base 10. 10 in base two is eight plus two, which is two cubed plus two to the one power. And we can represent this binary number as zero, one, zero, one, or one, zero, one, zero. 20 is 16 plus four, which is two to the fourth power plus two squared, which in binary is one zero one zero zero. Thirty is sixteen plus eight plus four plus two. And so that's one 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 zero. And then forty is thirty two plus eight which is one zero, one zero zero zero. And so my question to you is, do you notice a pattern here? Well, for one, they all end in zeros, but just ending in a zero doesn't necessarily mean that you're divisible by 10. Because for example, one, 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 zero, this is just eight plus four, plus two, which is 14. So in binary, if you end in a zero, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're divisible by 10. That means you're divisible by two. So if you're divisible by 10, then that means you're also divisible by two, which is why all of these binary numbers end in a zero. But ending in a zero doesn't mean that you're a multiple of 10. So can we represent any patterns in these numbers that shows that the number is divisible by 10. Not just two, but by 10. The answer is no. Why is that? Well, that's because 10 is two times five. And this five is a prime number that's not divisible by two. And that's gonna cause a lot of problems. Now I can't prove definitively yet that you cannot find a pattern with numbers that are divisible by 10, but you can quickly see that you're not gonna find one. You're not gonna find a pattern. So the answer to this question is no, not really. You could get close. If the furthest right digit is not a zero, then it's definitely not divisible by 10. So the question is, can a multiple of 10 be easily identified from its binary representation? The answer is no, not without first converting it to base 10 and then checking to see if the furthest right digit is a zero. That would be the fastest way in my opinion. Anyways, thanks everyone, and I'll see you all in the next video.